Well, it's time for a somewhat Halloween-related tutorial. This time of year, we have a lot of people doing faux finishes on props and costume accessories and, and uh, scenic elements for haunted houses and that sort of thing. And one of the common things we have people using some of our Sculpt Nouveau products for is for creating rust, for faux finishing products to look like they are rusted. And one of the awesome things about uh, using the metal coatings is it does create real metal rust. So in this tutorial, I'm just gonna contrast a couple of ways of creating a rust effect using a couple of different methods. So uh, many of you are already familiar with this method, but just to recap what we've done here, this is a resin piece that is intrinsically pigmented to it as close to kind of a rust color as possible. And the whole point of that is we use some of our art cast translucent pigmented kind of a dark rust brown. And the whole point of internally coloring a resin like this is so if a part gets scraped or uh, bumped later on and some of the paint, heaven forbid, chips or scratches or something, uh, we don't have bright white plastic showing through and it still looks like a rusted prop. So in this case, what we did is we, uh, we applied the darkened iron B metal coating. And the darkened iron B is a new version of the very popular iron B metal coating that has real iron in it, but it also has a black pigment. So if you don't do anything to it, you get this very dark uh, uh, you know, metal metallic color. But where it rusts, it rusts the same as the usual iron B. So what we do is we apply, uh, typically we do two layers. Now this is a pretty simple, straightforward piece. So I just applied one layer of the iron B, the darkened iron B metal coating. And while that's wet, and this is a critical step, while that's wet, then I'm going to apply the light green patina. And the light green patina is an acid patina, so you want to make sure you're using this in a well-ventilated area. But uh, that needs to be applied while that darkened iron B is wet. And in that wet state, it reacts much like a torch patina. So the acid is able to react with the metal, and it continues to react even after the, uh, the iron B starts to dry and that acrylic base starts to seal everything in. So that reaction will continue to occur. And just remember, real important with this method, that the, the better the humidity you have, the richer reaction you're going to get and the better rust colors you're going to have develop on your piece. Now, the nice thing about this technique is you're getting actual real rust. Uh, the only downside to it is because it is real rust, sometimes if you're in a really uh, humid area, you can get a really aggressive, out of control rust. And, and in some cases, you might want a little bit more of a subtle rust or a very old rust. Really old rust starts to kind of level out at this very reddish brown look. So in order to cheat that look of that really kind of old rust where we get, we go past the new rust, we get our yellows and oranges and things like that, uh, we're going to cheat that by using the Sculpt Nouveau metal waxes. And the advantage to this approach over the uh, Iron Bee metal coating is we're not, we're not utilizing an actual uh, oxidizing process or an actual chemical reaction. So what we see is what we get. So it's a little bit more controllable and preferable if you're doing more of a very subtle rusting effect. So to start with, we're going to be using, see the art cast, our piece is cast in our art cast translucent resin, pigmented to this uh, dark reddish rust brown. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be using uh, four different colored waxes. We're using the, uh, the silver metal rub, and then we're gonna be using red, yellow, and orange wax. Now, for some, some of you that are wondering why we're using the, uh, the waxes versus, say, a paint, like an acrylic paint or something like that, for one thing, we can get a much more subtle look with the waxes, but more importantly, in this instance, wax sticks incredibly well to resin, even resin that might have a little bit of a mold release residue on it. So uh, the waxes are great because you can still see the resin through the wax, and when that dries and cures completely, it really bonds uh, tenaciously to a resin piece. So it's a great alternative to acrylic paint. And again, because we can still see the piece through that, we get a much more organic look. 
So first things first, we're going to apply a little bit of the silver metal rub. And we want to be really careful to just lightly dry brush that over the surface. And what that does is that cheats the look of that scuffed metal where we have uh, old steel, old iron that's been lightly scuffed. Sometimes it, it shows some of that raw metal through. And that's the look we want to have on, at the base. And then we're going to follow that up with the red wax and the orange wax and finally the yellow wax. And real important on this, this is an order I have chosen for this particular piece. If you wanted, you could put these on in a different order depending on the kind of look you're going for. Personally, I like to put the red down first, follow that up with the orange, and then of course, last but not least, apply that yellow on top. And then again, the nice thing here is we don't undergo a color change. Once this dries completely, uh, it might get a little bit more of a matte finish as that solvent evaporates off, but we don't have a color change. So this is a great way to get a, a realistic rust look, but without the, the danger of getting a, uh, like a really uh, overly oxidized look. And again, this is pretty subtle here, but uh, at the end of this tutorial, I'll link some of our tutorials where we do other rust finishes. And there's times, especially on big set pieces, where you really want an out of control, just really aggressive rust. And for that, that's where for the cost, that's really the most cost effective way to do that will be with the iron B metal coating. This approach takes a little bit more finesse um, and there's a little bit more uh, artistry to this. This is more like traditional faux finishing, uh, whereas this is still, this does take skill to apply properly, but uh, you're allowing nature to do most of the work for you. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial explaining the process of creating a more subtle rust finish on a resin piece. And again, this is just the economy resin we have, just our translucent art cast uh, resin with uh, some of the poly pig to, to pigment this a dark rust brown. And again, real important, the reason we did that and not just a white cast part is if we scuff this, if it drops or scrapes or something, we're gonna wind up seeing the uh, resin finish through the resin color and that has the right color for the piece. So we don't wind up seeing bright white plastic through our part. So with Halloween right around the corner, be sure to check the links in the video description. I'm gonna put a link to our video library page, real important page this time of year. Uh, many of you ask a lot of questions about casting with silicone or you know, faux finishing, some of the techniques about using, creating rust and that sort of thing. We have a lot of tutorials and they're compiled by topic in our video library page. So be sure to click on that link and that'll take you to an index page where you can go through and pick out which uh, video topic is suitable for what your project is. Thanks again for watching and if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and of course click the little bell icon so you get notified when we put out new content. And if, as many of you who have already seen some of this up, you can always check out uh, some of the day-to-day -day shenanigans at our shop at our Instagram page at at Biddy Mold Supply. And of course, all of our products are available on our web store at brickintheyard.com.